Balangay. It is what the early Filipinos named the sailboats they used to navigate around the archipelago. That's where we got the name Barangay. A barangay is the smallest administrative division here in the Philippines. If you ask me, it's a fancy name for a village, really. Toledo City has 38 of them, and I will be visiting each one starting from where I live. Barangay Sangi. Most towns or cities in the Cebuano-speaking regions have a Barangay Sangi and is usually situated where there is an important road intersection cutting through it. Sangi is the first barangay south of the Hinulawan River. But in the early days, there was no Sangi. This was the town trade center where merchants from neighboring towns of Balamban, Piemongahan, and the locals exchange goods. That's why this adjacent village is called Barangay Daan Lungsod, which translates to Barangay Old Town. All right, let me take you back to where I spent my preteen years, aka my grade school years. This, this is where it used to be the duplex houses. Right now, the landscape has changed. It is now owned by Global Business Power. Here's the AFC duplex houses. Back in the day, this used to be just a dusty gravel road. And every day we lived here, we are inhaling dust. That's the airstrip. You can still see this in the Google Maps. But look at that. A part of this coastal area of Daan Lungsod is reclaimed land that currently houses three companies the seaport services of Carmen Copper, Atlas Fertilizer, and Global Business Power. Back in the day, there are duplex houses here for the employees of Atlas Mining. This is where we live. And that airstrip we passed by a while ago, it is where we raced our bikes. Moving on to the next village is Barangay Luray. By the way, as proof that I reach a particular barangay, I took a photo of my bike in front of the Barangay Hall. Luray is where I grew up. Our house is just right about there. Before this became a church of the Latter-day Saints, there was a row of four or five houses here and ours was right at the center. Across our house is the central school, which had a vast grass field that became my ultimate playground. This used to be grass and there are no buildings yet just the old grade school buildings over there that's the north central school and the south buildings here and this is all grass and this is where I learned how to ride a bike this is my front yard this is where I play this is where I learned how to ride a bike, fly a kite, and play frisbee. And it's been 500 years since I biked around here.
it is starting to rain might as well finish the tour rather quickly let's go up next is barangay poblacion or poblacion which means population in spanish where philippines was a former colony there's a lot of spanish influence left in the country all towns have a barangay poblacion and it is what you call a downtown district. Moving on to where we lay our loved ones to rest, Barangay Ibu. Although Toledo is a coastal city, it is not known for its beaches. If you want to get wet, you have to go to a pool resort and the best pool resort in town is this thing, Acapulco. Acapulco has clean swimming pools fairly because it has just opened last year. If you have some downtime with nothing to do, just grab a cab and go to Barangay Ibu. Next to Barangay Ibo is Barangay Tabitoonan. Almost miss the Barangay Hall right there. Let's make a U-turn. There's the signage. Welcome to Barangay Tabitoonan. This road is connected to the inner barangays. There is much to see in there, but I think I will feature those on some separate episodes. Today's ride, let's just focus on reaching each of the barangay halls south of the river, coastal barangays. And lastly, the last barangay before the next town of Pinamungahan is Barangay Bato. And I reach the south border of Toledo City. That's the end of the tour. Time to head back home. Just like that, we're heading home. I happen to, I happen to film this episode on a rainy day, so there's nothing really much action here. On the next episode of Barangay Tour. If you're caught misbehaving, this is where you spend the rest of your days. It's a big incline. I'm at level 4 now. Oh, this is too fast. I need two hands. 